257 workers are now facing the breadline in what is another liquidation and sellout. Almost two years after ArcelorMittal closed its doors, Tube City IMS is looking to do the same. The Steelworkers Union spoke to the media before the liquidation meeting proceedings. We have more in this report. Another incident where a multinational company is closing its doors locally and leaving workers behind. But according to Steelworkers Union executive member Timothy Bailey, Tube City IMS are leaving with the workers' money. Millions of dollars are being owed in severance. Millions of dollars are being owed to these workers. And this company is taking an action right now where they basically are going to preempt these workers from getting any justice. He says some workers are owed severance and added the company had agreed to pay workers back pay and pay increase. He says if the country had taken heed from the Asala Metal experience, they would not be in this situation today. The legislation to change the Severance Benefit Act, the legislation to take change the Companies Act, the same legislation that ArcelorMittal would have seen loopholes in because they had money and they were able to use legal mines, the best in Trinidad and Tobago, to take advantage of the man on the ground. He is hoping things can be different this time and the workers' fate would not be like that what the ArcelorMittal workers went through. Ian Wason, C News.